in another language. Totally. Like, oh, they were a project manager, but what they actually do all day. Right. Today, we're all about deciphering that code. We've got Kronal Jathav's resume, and trust me, it's packed with good stuff. It's like a career deep dive, yeah. <laughs> we're going to unpack his journey. Figure out what made him successful, what skills he picked up. And the best part is, these are insights you can use to boost your own career, no matter what you do. Exactly. So no more resume mysteries. Okay. Let's break down Kunal's path, starting right from the beginning. We're talking day one. Well, career day one, at least. Love it. All right, let's do it. First thing that jumped out at me, Kunal started at Amazon in seller support. Now, picture this. Thousands of people selling stuff on Amazon probably needing help with, well, everything. Oh, I can only imagine. Technical issues, customer questions. Mm -hmm. It's like the front lines of online retail. Exactly. And from there, he moved to risk investigation. Now that's a heck of a leap. What does that tell you? Huge signal right there. First off, somebody at Amazon saw something special in him, right? You don't just jump from customer support to like fraud investigation if you're not catching on quick. It makes you wonder what kind of problems he was solving back in seller support. For real. But also that shift. It screams adaptability, learning new things fast, not afraid of a challenge. Those are golden traits anywhere. And it's not like he just switched roles and stayed put. He kept climbing that ladder. Now he's an investigation specialist, SME. Okay, for anyone wondering what on earth an SME is, it stands for subject matter expert. Which in plain English means? It means you know your stuff inside and out. Like you've become the go-to person in that area. People come to you with their toughest questions. So not just good at your job, but the kind of person who makes everyone else better. Exactly. And think about the skills that takes communication, mm -hmm. problem solving, mm -hmm. probably even training and mentoring, right? Yeah. Because if you're the SME, you're sharing that knowledge. Okay, let's zoom in on his actual responsibilities for a sec, because even those are telling. We're not just talking about tasks. He's got verbs in here like provide guidance, develop and implement, train, lead, collaborate. It's like a master class in desirable skills. It's like he's talking directly to any future employer, saying, hey, I don't just check boxes. I solve problems, bring people together, make things happen. These aren't just buzzwords. They're proof points. It's like take that generic resume advice and throw it out the window. Seriously, anyone listening, do yourself a favor. Grab your resume. Look at how you're describing what you do. Are those verbs doing you justice? Love that. Okay, one more thing about Kunal, and this one surprised me. Years before Amazon, he was ranked in the top 10% of his MBA class. Now, why does that matter now? Because it shows a pattern. This isn't just about acing some exams. It's about drive. It's that internal fire to be exceptional. And em employers, they can spot that a mile away. It's like that saying, past performance. Is indicative of future results. Is not indicative. Wait, no, you're right. It totally applies here. Kudal's past performance is practically screaming future potential. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I love about these deep dives. We get inspired, right? We see what's possible. Totally. So, to everyone listening, here's your takeaway. What's your top 10% moment? What are those achievements, those skills you've honed that make you stand out? Because just like Kunal showed us, your resume, it's not just a job history, it's a chance to tell your story. And trust me, it's a story worth telling. Couldn't have said it better myself, make it count.